Ranieri International ha deciso di entrare nel segmento. Ranieri International has decided to enter the tender market for luxury yachts and they've started off with a luxury tender. It's called the Cayman One Luxury Tender. Questo primo esemplare che proviamo è motorizzato con un fuoribordo. This is the first one that we're going to try out. It's an outboard that has a Suzuki 40 horsepower engine, but you could put up to a max of 60 horsepower on this little rib. È lungo 360 cm. It's 360 cm long and 190 cm wide. It's almost wider than it is long, but these measurements make for a good sense of space. A bordo possono sistemarsi. You can fit six people on board according to the regulations, two here at the back, one beside the console, one at the bow and two on the tubeless. Sui tubolari. One thing I'm very impressed with is the cockpit. Have you noticed how they've put these flat boards on top of the tubeless and how low the dunnage is? I feel really protected on this boat, safe, not just from spray, but also the waves too. Everything you see comes as standard. The finishings, the dashboard, the rails, the seven inch display, the audio system. The air chambers have three compartments and they're big, 44 centimeters at the stern. They touch the water, which goes to create more security and stability. You can choose the colors so you can match your tender to your yacht. It's better not to board a rib by getting onto the tubeless because if it's even slightly deflated, you'll slip. There are special step boards here. Look at this one on the stern. The boat comes standard with a 30-litre fuel tank in the stern storage area, then there are other storage compartments. This engine has an impressive rudder angle. Look how this tender turns. It's like a jet tender. Turns on a dime. Okay, so now let's try it out. In partenza cabra, ma è inevitabile. Ci sono solo io a bordo, è un piccolo tender. It's raised as I start off, but that's to be expected as I'm the only one on board. It's just a little tender and the weight of the engine is at the stern too, so obviously it's unbalanced. How am I going to lower it again? Yep, go faster, then slow down and find the right skate speed. So obviously a boat like this is very much beholden to what load it's got on it and what the sea is doing. I'm planing now at 13 knots, but pitching gently, even if the sea is almost flat. As I increase speed though, it's relaxing back into the water, because the push from the stern lowers the bow, which makes the sailing more pleasant and the more you go on. A yacht skipper using this as a tender wouldn't need any advice on piloting this boat, but for the average person who maybe decides to buy one of these by chance, this advice might be useful. It's quite difficult if you are on your own, and if there are two of you, best if one person sits at the bow. Fifteen knots and we're consuming five litres an hour. At 20 knots, I have no problems controlling the boat, which is nice and flat on the water. I've kept the trim low, don't need to raise it. But it handles very well. Turning at this speed, because the keel is completely immersed, really, it feels very safe. As I predicted, the big tubulars really help the boat's stability. Come avevo ipotizzato, i tubolari grandi controllano la stabilità. If I push it too much, you can start to hear the propellers cavitating, but the thrust is still really good. Watch out, two waves coming. 
no problem. Nessun problema. Ora 20 nodi. I'm doing 20 knots and consumption has gone up to 7 litres a mile. That is, you can go 20 miles with just 7 litres of petrol. Con tutta questa potenza, va anche troppo forte. 25 nodi, 10 litri ora. Forse adesso. With all this power, it can go a little too fast. 25 knots, 10 litres an hour. Maybe I could give it a little trim now. Yes, I'm having a little trouble seeing the data on the display. It's hidden by the wheel. It's little, but they've put the dial right behind the top of it. And now, OK, fast as we can, full speed ahead. I have to say that it works even better at this speed. Fantastic! I repeat, today's conditions are ideal. I'm going to speed up gently, because I can feel it gliding through the water. We're going 35 knots. Well, how many ribs? A lot bigger ribs managed to get to this speed. So there it is. This isn't just a tender, it's also a lot of fun. But remember, you need to be careful, especially with little boats like this one. The safety cutoff needs to always be connected.